What's going on everybody? Out here working on some tumblers today and I want to run you through how I do alignment when there are logos on the tumbler you're working on. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you take a look here at my computer, so I have this box around the artwork um, and that box is, let's go ahead and select it, it is 120 wide, so here to here, and then 100 tall, here to here. So what I do to try and center over some type of logo on a tumbler is what I will go ahead and do, and I will set the cup in there, just like I have right here, and put it dead center. So like my red dot is right over the top of this logo, so that way I know it's dead center of the cup. And because I know that this box, this boundary box that kind of is where the start point is, like if you look down here, I have it set as origin down in this bottom corner. So you'll see it's starting right here. I know that that is 100. So 100 millimeters. Here in the move tab, I went ahead and put in my distance that I want to move with every click as 50. And I lowered my speed down to 20, so it's not going to throw the cup off. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click down once, and it will move essentially halfway down to basically where this boundary box would start. And then when I press start, it's going to go into the logo and engrave it across. So that Yeti is actually going to stay right here. Okay, so got the cup in there, and I'm going to go ahead and hit down. It's going to rotate. 50 millimeters, so you can even see there's the Yeti on the other side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and frame it out. So we'll be able to see where it goes. And it's looking like it's gonna stretch right over the top of that logo. Which is perfect, that's what we want. Okay, so we're ready to go now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start. All right, it's all finished up. So now we'll just go ahead, take that cup out, take a look. So now we just need to go ahead and hit it with some LA Awesome and a Magic Eraser is what I like to do to clean it up and really make that engraving shine. All right, so here is another one that we're going to be doing, much larger, um, but this is going to be a two-sided logo, so or two-sided engraving. So there's a logo on this side, nothing on this side. So what I usually do is I plan on whatever is going to go on this side is what I want to engrave first. So <clears throat> it'll end up starting over here, engrave through, and then roll to the next side. Over here, if the alignment is slightly off on that roll, it's not going to be as noticeable or noticeable at all because there's no reference marks on this side. So a lot easier on the other side. But let me show you how I got it set up. So here we've got this box here. That's the whole circumference of the cup and where these things are going to line up. Um, so if you look at my last video or one of my last videos that I did um, right up here, it'll show you how to set this up. But what it's going to happen is I have gone and... This whole box here is 300 
and 76 millimeters tall. And so that's how much the, the circumference is. And so if we go and say, um, we want to take a fourth of that, which is actually right here, and it is 94, then what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead. So since we're going to start here in the name, the name is actually what's going to go underneath this Hydro Flask logo. So the name will go right here. And then the big logo will be on the back. So <clears throat> we're going to have it start down here. And oh, so I'm going to change my start position to the top corner. So this one over here. Okay, because now you can see that that's right here and that's where it's going to start. So the laser head's going to be here and it's going to come over, go into here, roll, go over here and engrave that. So I need to go from lining up center over the logo and the roll it back 94 millimeters. So that way my start point is in the right place and then it can roll into this name that will center under the logo and then roll to the other side and then get this engraving on the back. All right, so here uh, with this big bottle, what I've actually done is I went and I put some unpopped popcorn in the bottle. Um, here, I'll actually pull it off and so you can see. Like, popcorn's just down there, just enough to give it a little bit more weight so it sits on the rotary. Um, and you want to just kind of lay it so it's spread out. Um, got the height set up, and I actually am trying to line up just off the middle part of the top of this logo. Um, and way I set up the design, it will come in and it will actually engrave the name here, roll to the other side. But that's looking about right where it needs to be. Um, so then what I'm going to do is we'll just roll it till it's about here on this side. And then it's going to come in and then go and engrave and then move around to the other side. Well, and there you go. So that is how I go about um, centering engravings on tumblers that have logos on them already. So similar to like Yeti products or to Hydro Flasks. Um, and you've got how to do it with just single-sided and double-sided. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. If it was helpful, please like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And stay tuned for the next one.